my friends, Leo with the Irish Zombie Nation. As you probably know, everybody and their mother is at Blade Show this weekend. I couldn't make it. I started saving money up at the beginning of the year, and then I decided to buy a motorcycle instead. I think I made the right choice, but you're going to see a lot of Blade Show videos anyway. You're not going to see them for me, unfortunately. So instead, what I'm going to show you today is my updated EDC. If you don't know what EDC means, that stands for Everyday Carry. It's the items you carry on you, on your person, in your pockets, your belt, wherever, every single day. Now, it is summertime now. It's hot, and people like to decrease, go minimalist uh, during the summer. I don't do that. I'm actually, I think I'm carrying a few more items this time. Uh, I, whatever I carry every day, I carry every day. Summer, winter, spring, fall, doesn't matter to me. I carry it all the time. I do have a few new items I'm going to show you, a few you're going to uh, remember from my last EDC video, but what I'm going to do also is I'm going to bring the camera onto the table and show you the items individually close up as opposed to the way I did it before, which was just here pulling them out and showing them at this distance. So let me get the camera pointed down here. We're going to check out all the different items I carry, and I need some advice from you guys. There's an item, I'm going to get to it, and I want you guys to give me some advice on it because I'm looking to change it up. So when we get to it, I'll ask you the question, and then in the comments, I'd like some advice uh, on the item that I'm wanting to change up. So thanks for joining me. Let me get the camera down here, and we'll get started. All right, so there's no particular order to how this is set up. I'm just going to start pulling items out and showing them to you. First thing, cheap pair of sunglasses. I always have those because I'm blind without them. I have a pair of LG Tones. I like these type of Bluetooth headsets because I drive a lot for my job. And I got to answer the phone. I'm constantly getting phone calls and I don't want to do it with my phone in my hand. I like to have hands free. So I found these to be the most effective way to do that. Uh, let's see. Money clip goes up in my vest pocket. Just a cheap little money clip I got off of eBay. Started carrying a little comb. My beard's getting longer so I need something to tame it with because it gets a little wiry. Uh, let's see. What else do I have? I started carrying a small stylus in my front vest pocket as well. Uh, I find that there's a few items when I'm editing videos and such on my phone uh, that I need to be really precise with, those in-screen annotations. So I started carrying this cheap little stylus. I think I got it for 50 cents or something like that. Uh, let's see. Also in the vest, here's an item that I changed up. This is a Anchor lipstick battery, they call it. It's got the IQ technology on it, just one port. And I believe that this, I think the milliamps on this is like 3,500 if I remember correctly. If I'm wrong, I'll put it on the screen. But very simple, it's small, it's, I was carrying the larger one and it was just, on. It, there was no easy way to carry it in any pocket, even a cargo pocket, it was heavier. And the only thing I really need this for is a quick charge if my phone is getting ready to die and I'm out and I don't have time to get to my EDC bag in my car where I have the larger battery bank. So nice little lipstick battery bank and then down here in this lower pocket, cargo pocket on my left side, I've got the cable for that which has a USB-C adapter attached to it. And I just keep that stuffed inside these light cones, which are for my Olight S2R baton. I upgraded from the S20R baton. I just dig this one a little bit more. I love the recessed pocket clip. This is my favorite EDC light. And these little cones, in case you're wondering, they just attach on there. They call them traffic cones, but these uh, make nice little makeshift lanterns when you need it. I got a red one too, so if I'm at camp or something, I'm not going to lose my night vision. All right. Next up, what do we have? Let's go for the big knife. Everyone loves the big knife. I have started carrying this knife on my left side because of how I've changed up something else. My fixed blade of choice is the, let me get this snap back together here, is the Dark Timber Honey Badger. I know that's big. Not everyone can do a large knife like that for EDC, but I can, so I choose to. I have some customizations to this you didn't see before, and these are some very nice Custom handle scales by Joe from LMF Knives. I got the Desert Ironwood. I'm going to be getting another set with a lighter inlay in there. I love it. it. They feel great. They're very smooth. Honey Badger has seen some work. I have put this thing through its paces. The sheath is still the stock sheath with some customized mods that I have on here. I've got this leather accent down below with the Dark Timber logo. I've got this leather strap. A lot of people do the ferro rod. I don't do that. But this leather strap here, I've got the IZN right there on that. I love that. I got that from Dave at Linwood Leatherworks. He made these for me as well as the dangler attachment, which is snap on and off so I don't have to remove my belt to take it off. I love that. And it's got the Dark Timber logo there. Very large. Love that setup. That is my EDC fixed blade. 
Oh, well, let's see. And then the reason I started carrying that on my left side is because I switched from shoulder carry to inside the waistband for my Glock 17. And this is where I need some advice, guys. I'm currently using a Gearcraft inside the waistband holster. I like this holster a lot. I like that the Kydex rides up real high so you don't get any sweat or anything up against the metal on the gun. However, I'm wanting to go outside the waistband. I just, I'm not, it's comfortable, but it's not as comfortable as I would like it to be. I realize you're never going to be completely comfortable when you EDC a large uh, handgun like this, but I think if I have it on the outside, uh, I'd be a little bit better off. So I'm looking at two different sheaths, or um, I'm sorry, two different holsters right now. I'm looking at an Alien Gear, what is it called? The Cloak outside the waistband and also a Safari outside the waistband. Safari Land, sorry. Safari Land outside the waistband. So if you guys have any advice on either of those or on another type of outside the waistband holster that rides high, you can conceal with a shirt over it, I would love to hear it. Ammo thing is nice and secure. There we go. Next up, a uh, pen. Oh, well, I should say this. Over in the mag pouch of my 511 TacLite Pro is I got an extra mag, 17 round in both. This is my EDC pen. This is the what, Uzi Tac Pen 7, I believe. I like it because it's sleek. I did a video on that a while back. Some of these items I've done videos on. Others you're going to see videos coming up. Back left pocket, bandana as always, million uses. Along in that pocket, I have a Field Notes Expedition Series, 48 page little waterproof notepad. Make a lot of notes in there for my videos. My keys, I was able to find, and I love this. I had this little Sailor Jerry leather belt loop. This was actually for a wall, uh, uh, wallet chain. And I just cut it down so it's actually for my keys now. But it's this nice little leather Sailor Jerry item. Uh, as you probably know, I'm a tattoo fan, of course. A bit of a collector. And uh, I found this over in England. Somebody had it on eBay, so I snatched it up. It was a little pricey, but you can't find them anymore. They were made years ago, and they don't make them anymore. So I snatched it up while I could. And then, of course, I got all my different keys. Ridiculous amount of keys I got to have for work and such. Update to the keys though, I had this nice little Olite, and this is the, what is this? This is the Olite, I can't remember the model on here. Uh, I, what is this? I3E HOS, something like that. I can't read anymore, but this is an awesome little 120 lumen flashlight. There's going to be a review coming up on this. And then I, of course, have the Gerber Dime, which has seen its uh, amount of work, as you can tell. So those are my keys. Big pile of keys. Lower cargo pocket on the right side, Maxpedition pocket organizer, the mini organizer. Still have all the same stuff in there, basically. I'm not going to open that up and bother showing you. Other cargo pocket, I still have my Zippo with the Vector Thunderbird insert. Love that. Never failed me yet. Oh, let's see. As far as my pants pockets, one other new item. Did a review on this recently, the Maxpedition, uh, what is this? LPW, low profile wallet, very simplistic wallet. I'm going to cover up my ID, but... You know, card window, cards, that's it. You can carry a little money in there if you want. But check out the video on that if you haven't already. It's a really great, great uh, wallet. Ah, uh, my watch. This is the Samsung Gear S2 Classic. Still doing that one. I didn't see a need to upgrade from the 3. This one is still rocking. I love this watch. New watch face. Look at that. I love that watch face too. Gorgeous. Uh, leather wristband. I always have this on just because I am very symmetrically OCD and if I don't have something on this wrist and this wrist I feel weird so uh, let's see pockets 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 that's it for the pants uh, one other item I've got my vaporizer quit smoking a long time ago but I still love my coffee and cigarettes so this is the only thing I can really do about that I was thinking about taking up pipe smoking but I think the wife would be kind of mad she's glad I did that uh, let's see is there anything else yes in my breast pocket of my shirt little business card holder Leather business card holder, and I think, oh, wait a minute, almost forgot this back here. Multi-tool, and this is a new addition here. This is my Leatherman Surge, still rocking that, but now I have it in this RAE uh, little aluminum holster, which I really like. I saw some reviews on this, and it's very simple, slides in and out, very thin, low profile, nice sturdy clip. Again, I don't have to take my belt off to put it on and off. And it's just a nice little holder. It's You almost don't even notice that you have this big, heavy multi-tool on your hip. Hat. I always have a hat. I've had this hat for years. I never go outside without a hat. It's just something, I don't know, it's an old school thing about me or something. But, you know, I always, I always wear a hat when I'm outdoors just in case I need some shade from the sun besides the sunglasses. And, of course, my wedding ring. Just a tungsten wedding ring. Never leave home without that. The wife would kill me. 
And that's pretty much it. That's everything that I carry with me every single day whenever I leave the house. I do not leave without these items with me in a pocket, on my belt, doesn't matter. They're always with me. Okay, two more items to tell you about. First is the belt that holds all this stuff up. That is the 511 Double Duty TDU belt. It's green on one side, black on the other, so it's reversible. I love this belt. It's very sturdy. It's got a cinch buckle, so you can tighten it to whatever increment you want. You don't have to worry about drilled hose, might, or drilled hole, not drilled hose, drilled holes <laughs> uh, that might be too tight or too loose. So cinch it down, perfect. It holds everything up well. The second item is the phone that I upgraded to since my last CDC video. That is the Samsung Galaxy S8. That's what I'm using right now to record this video. And I'm gonna put a picture of it up on the screen in case you're wondering what it looks like uh, because the case I have on it is different than some people might have. The case I use is the Spigen. I can't remember the model number or anything like that. You just kind of look it up and choose which one you want. This one's in gunmetal gray and black. Very durable case. I've dropped it, I beat it. I've thrown it across the room and it takes a beating and come back for more. It's got a nice kickstand on it for watching videos and stuff. Very nice. So. I want to thank everyone for joining me. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Please, though, in the comments, let me know suggestions about a new outside the waistband. It has to be outside the waistband holster for my Glock 17. I've been wanting to go outside the waistband for a while. I think it's going to be the most comfortable way to go, and I just need it to ride high. I usually wear my holster at about 3.30 on my hip. Some people like to do 4, 4.30. I do about 3.30. Just what I do. <laughs> All right. Thanks for joining me, everyone. Please like, share, and subscribe. Enjoy all those Blade Show videos. I know I'm going to. And until next time, I'll see you around the fire.